Airlines, when I was growing up, my father was often at sea. And the job of raising my brother, sister, and me would fall to my mother alone. Roberta McCain gave us her love of life, her deep interest in the world, her strength, and her belief that we're all meant to use our opportunities to make ourselves useful to our country. I wouldn't be here tonight but for the strength of her character. And finally, a word to Senator Obama and his supporters. We'll go at it. We'll go at it over the next two months. You know that's the nature of this business. And there are big differences between us. But you have my respect and my admiration. Despite our differences, much more unites us than divides us. We are fellow Americans, and that's an association that means more to me than any other. We're dedicated to the proposition that all people are created equal and endowed by our Creator with inalienable rights. No country, no country ever had a greater cause than that. And I wouldn't be an American worthy of the name if I didn't honor Senator Obama and his supporters for their achievement. But let there be no doubt, my friends, we're going to win this election. We're And after we've won, we're going to reach out our hand to any willing patriot. Make this government start working for you again and get this country back on the road to prosperity and peace. I know these are tough times for many of you. You're worried about keep... Please don't be diverted by the ground noise and the static. <laughs> you know, I'm going to talk about it some more. But Americans want us to stop yelling at each other. Okay. These are tough times for many of you. You're worried about keeping your job or finding a new one. And you're struggling to put food on the table and stay in your home. All you've ever asked of your government is to stand on your side and not in your way, and that's what I intend to do. Stand on your side and fight for your future. And I found just the right partner to help me shake up Washington, D.C.
And I want to thank everyone here and all over America for the tremendous, wonderful, warm reception you gave her last night. Thank you so much. She deserved it. What a great beginning. You know, she has an executive experience and a real record of accomplishment. She's tackled tough problems like energy independence and corruption. She's balanced a budget, cut taxes, and she's taken on the special interest. She's reached across the aisle and asked Republicans, Democrats, and independents to serve in her administration. She's the wonderful mother of five children. She's, she's helped run a small business. She's worked with her hands and knows, and knows what it's like to worry about mortgage payments and health care and the cost of gasoline and groceries. She knows where she comes from and she knows who she works for. She stands up for what's right and she doesn't let anyone tell her to sit down. proud to have introduced our next vice president to the country, but I can't wait until I introduce her to Washington. And let me just offer an advance warning to the old, big-spending, do-nothing, me-first, country-second crowd, change is coming. I'm not in the habit of breaking my promises to my country, and neither is Governor Palin. And when we tell you we're going to change Washington and stop leaving our country's problems for some unluckier generation to fix, you can count on it. And we, and we've got a record of doing just that, and the strength, experience, judgment, and backbone to keep our word to you. You well know I've been called a maverick. Someone who, someone who marches to the beat of his own drum. Sometimes it's meant as a compliment, and sometimes it's not. What it really means is I understand who I work for. I don't work for a party. I don't work for a special interest. I don't work for myself. I work for you. fought corruption, and it didn't matter if the culprits were Democrats or Republicans. They violated their public trust, and they had to be held accountable. I fought the big spenders. I fought the big spenders in both parties who waste your money on things you neither need nor want. And the first big spending pork barrel earmark bill that comes across my desk, I will veto it. I will make them famous, and you will know their names. You will know 